Welcome back to Coyote Classics. This morning we're going to do our own version of Cars and Coffee. The weather outside has not been favorable to say the least, so we're not able to get all the new inventory lined up out front and do it like we normally do. But today we're going to do something different, take you through the showroom shop. Chad and I are going to do our morning walkthrough and see what the guys are doing and we're just going to bring you along with us. So um, let's get started. Let's do it. To start our day, Aaron's already on a sales call. Chad, you were just telling me last night you dropped the price on our 72 Cadillac. I did, and it's not the car's fault. I don't know what the heck the deal is. Um, gorgeous black show car. Find another one of these 1972 Comet GTs. I mean, especially like in this. black on black. Mm -hmm. And I really think what it is, is it's, these cars are just so rare, you don't see them that much. And they're not like your Chevelle or Mustang, but somebody out there has had one of these and they want the nicest one around and that's what this car is. Exactly, this one's priced at $39,995 and it's you know priced under 40,000 bucks and it's an absolute show car, Dalton. Yeah, I like it a lot. Another car that uh, you've seen a couple weeks ago if you follow along on our YouTube when we had it out front, um, the 69 Chevelle convertible. I did some research, every car that we check in, the guys get all the motor numbers and everything mm -hmm. off. This has what I believe to be the original 350, 300 horse, original three-speed automatic transmission, original interior. This is a sweetheart of a car, and they didn't clone it to a Chevelle Supersport, left at Malibu, which I like. I do too. I, it's a great car, and it drives nice too. It's fast as hell with that 300 horse 350. That's a pretty beefed up 350. It is, definitely. How about this one? This is a real time capsule right here. It's a 1966 Chevy Impala. This is another one that's got the 327, runs and drives great. This is the date code crack motor too. In 1966, they didn't have the VIN number stamped on the block, so this one's got all the crack stuff with the, the power glide and everything, so. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point you just made there, and it's a video I thought about making just for people that don't necessarily know, but you know, pre-1966, they didn't put a VIN number on the block, so you can just kind of go by date code, but there's no such thing as like numbers matching you know, on those Correct. early 60s Chevys because they didn't have a VIN number on the block. Yeah, a lot of people think they do have a numbers matching car, but it's all they can go off of is a suffix code, make sure everything makes sense, and then the date code on the engine. But yeah, this is just such a nice car. Um, if you're looking for an Impala, I mean, this you can't go wrong with this one. Original color combination. Seems like we have a, a handful of good Impalas. It's funny how that works. Dude, we might we not have an Impala it. for three months and then we'll have six of them. So we have that yellow one and then uh, we'll talk about our red one over here in a minute. But this thing's a lot of fun. Beefed up 72 El Camino, big old slicks on the back. This thing's fast, man. For Very a small fast. block, this thing's wicked fast. It's got uh, SS, gauges, dash, everything works. Um, this is a cool car for the money. This one we got at $32,995. I think we had an offer on this last night and I seen it on the email. Good. Um, over here, we'll start with the Mustang. This is a show quality 1973 Mustang convertible. Love the color and just uh, really well done. I mean, it comes with a big show board the previous owners used, take, take the shows, won a lot of trophies with it. Yeah, that one's had the motor tranny all redone, underneath all painted black. That's an absolute show car. Mm -hmm. This car is, I think, and people that watch a lot are gonna give me shit, but my favorite car on the lot, because I say that about a lot of them, but this one really is. But right now it is. Right now it is. Original paint, big block, four-speed car, probably the most original and nicest 67 Impala that there is. I mean, find one of the original paint that looks like this. Uh, Michael did a great job buffing it out, and that interior is fantastic. The gauges are crystal clear. Mm -hmm. um, really nice car with a lot of power. It is. And all these cars, if you want to see more information on them than we're going to give you today, you can go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, and see a full video, pictures, description, all the, all the information you want to know is on the website. Wow, look at this one. This one really cleaned up nice. 1972, believed to be original 442. Um, in 1972, you really couldn't tell if you had a, a factory 442 or not. Um, you know, that's the problem with those. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as I can tell, this one is. 354 barrel, a lot of power in it. Yeah. Non-numbers matching, but a great color combination. When Brady and I did the video yesterday, what did we have this thing at Brady, like 95 mile an hour? What? And it, if we did, I keep, I'm sick of getting shit for not driving them fast. When I, whenever I drive them, you know, people think Chad always driving fast, so I had to show them that I can. Get, get the speeds up when I'm doing a test drive. This is a really straight car, and like you said, very nice turnkey driver, but nice enough you can take to any of your local car shows. And how about it sitting by this Trailer Queen 1970 real 442. Mm -hmm. um, man, nice looking combo, huh? It is. And this 1970, you know, believed to be or could be original W30. It's got numbers matching trans. It's got the right M code in the VIN, which is the plant that, you know, all W30s were built. But with the W30 option, you can't tell unless you have an original build sheet. Also, we put some brand new wheels and tires on this. 
You guys at home have to tell us what you like better. We have both sets of wheels and tires. Both sets of wheels and tires um, come with the car at that price. It's a great car too, real deal. 60 Impala, um, runs and drives excellent. Right here is a trade-in, convertible four-speed, factory tack, just a really nice Chevelle too. Um, this one's pretty unique because it has a actual 427 block in this 1967 Chevelle Supersport. Most time you see a 427, it's a 454, they put the 427 internals. This is the real deal block. And in 67, you can tell a real Supersport by the VIN if it's a 138 Supersport, yep. 136 Malibu. But, Same thing um, with that uh, 1965 there. This one really surprises me, Big D. This one's right around 40,000 bucks. This satellite's got cold air, beautiful paint. It's fast, got a what, 340 in it. Mm -hmm. um, just a really nice car. So I'm surprised that one's still on the lot, but hopefully this spring, I'm sure it'll find a new owner. Uh, this one right here is an 1871 Camaro. Fill us in on this one, D. That's just a good car, fun, fast to drive, factory tack. We had a lot of fun making a video on it, and yeah. somebody's gonna have a lot of fun owning it's it. It's fast and it sounds good. Z28 Cologne, it's got the Z28 steering wheel, emblems, uh, the works. Mm -hmm. This one uh, you pictured last night, but we're gonna be doing a, a walk around yeah, test drive I think I'm gonna video. try to picture it outside. I just got a couple on there good. last night, but look at the quality of it. Full rotisserie restoration here down in the last 15 years. Um, paint, chrome, interior, it's just a really nice car. And the thing that makes it special is it's an S-coat. It's got an S in the VIN, meaning it came from the factory with a 390 uh, Ford Big Block. Still has what we believe to be the original motor. Again, not a VIN number on these. Correct. But it's got the date code correct, 390. Um, same thing with the transmission, four speed top loader transmission, date code correct. So very you, possible it's original motor look trans. Here, I mean, even, even just the little detail, you know what I mean? I think it, under the hood, stuff like that, it's, it's just a gorgeous car. Make sure you go on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check this one out underneath because the paint on the floors is really nice as well. Look how easy that hood shut too, I love that. We don't get many of these fair lanes in. And then to get a S code, original red with black bucket seat interior, mm -hmm. that interior is absolutely gorgeous and I love that big factory shifter in there. No one's messed with this car. And a four speed I feel like is, is pretty special in these too. We had one before, it was an automatic. Um, and it was white. And then, just a little information, they call the, uh, in these years, the uh, automatics were GTAs, mm -hmm. and the four speeds were just GTs. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's great, a little tidbit of information. Tidbit. I mentioned this before, guys, but uh, if you're one of our customers and you're a veteran, we'd love to put a picture of you on our wall here. We're gonna expand this to the whole dealership. Um, you know, and talk to one of our salesmen, man. If you're a veteran, you Send know, a we'll give a, little, and... give a little discount, too. Good morning, Colton. I'm gonna introduce you to Colton. He does all of our uh, Facebook, Instagram stuff. Um, if you haven't been on our Facebook, make sure you follow along. Colton put together a big March Madness bracket thing with some of our past inventory. We can go on there and vote, and you know we're gonna find out who wins the championship. We down to the final four, Colton? Uh, yeah, that'll be dropping on Saturday. Final four this Saturday, so make sure you awesome. go to Facebook and vote. You know, we got most of those, uh, most every one of those had about 100 comments, so a lot of interaction there. It's the first year we did it, and so I really didn't know what to expect with how many comments and how many participation you know, we'd get. But yeah, every post had 100 comments on it. So I appreciate everyone out there that you know, is playing along, but it's kind of a fun deal. Yeah, a lot of people engaged in it. Tell us about this Camaro, Mike. Well, this Camaro, it's a 68. Um, picked it up from Minnesota a couple days ago. Um, I'm putting door seals in it. I'll get a, give it a good paint job. It's gonna look really, really good. According to Chad, it's fast. It is fast. It's got a lot of power and just a lot of fun, man. I took this out front and just kept going back and forth and back and forth up in front of the dealership, squealing <laughs> tires. Yeah, it's fun. That's, That's what I cool did with that Chevelle, that T-Tone Chevelle I bought, which you on YouTube will see probably next week. That car is the same way. I mean, just awesome. It's gonna be affordable. Fast, one of the best driving cars I've drove in a you while. You know what, and that's really what we specialize in. I mean, we love the ones that are like that old 442 in there mm -hmm. that are halfway trailer queen versus show car mm -hmm. driver. But I mean, this one here is just a, a cool driver. If you park it alongside the bar and go in and have a drink or the gas station, you don't have to sit out and watch out the window and make sure it doesn't get a scratch in it. Because mm -hmm. this is, like I said, under 40 grand, fun muscle car, bucket seats, console, and it'll squeal the tires and beat your buddy in a race. Riley's checking in, 69 Firebird. This is neat too, it's got four wheel disc brakes, um, 18 inch wheels, uh, PMD rallies. This has got a 400 in it, uh, beautiful paint, you know, nicer paint than that uh, Camaro. And this will be a few thousand dollars more than the Camaro, but not a lot more. So this one, as far as we know, is original motor. It's got air conditioning, the air blows cold, 
great car, and this one's priced at forty five nine ninety five. It's a lot. So I just dropped it last night, along with the sixty four numbers matching tri power GTO back in the corner. That one I dropped a little bit the other day too. So both of these are bottom line sale price, but check them out on the website. They're both great cars if you're a GTO lover. Um, 1968 was the first year, end of 67, 68 was the first year they had the VIN number on the block on a Pontiac. This car we like a lot. We bought this down in, uh, down in Florida. Really nice Caprice. I believe it's original interior and it's like it perfect. It is, it's mint. Yeah, uh, numbers matching car, it's got air. Finally put this one up on the website. We were waiting for the- You gotta wait for a title for two months. I know. So that's what we've, you know, we put them all in our name. We don't have to as a dealer. We don't do any consignment. And every car that we sell, we put the title in our name. So when you buy it, you don't have any titling issues. So title is here at the dealership before it ever gets advertised. This one here, I guarantee this will be sold this spring. This 1966 got ice cold air conditioning. Just a beautiful stance. Tell us about this one, D. This is a good car. Um, this isn't gonna last long either. You don't see too many of the 64s. It's got a four speed, drives awesome. You know, we had a ball taking this one down the road, but really quality. Yesterday I had a guy call, I ran a magnet all the way along the rockers and doors and fenders and super solid all the way around. I'm glad we took that title cover off, man. It looks so much better without that on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of those snap that. ones. Roadrunner is very special. Oh, numbers That's... matching, motor and transmission. They did have a VIN number on these. 1969, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So yeah, this is a super nice one. Uh, inside the door jams, inside the trunk, engine bay, absolutely perfect paint as well. Very nice, show quality, 69 numbers matching Roadrunner. And this one's probably your second favorite on the lot. Yes, it is. Um, 1971 Olds Cutlass. Another extremely original car, much like the 67 Impala over there. Original interior, that's 100% perfect. I didn't find a flaw in the original interior. Runs and drives fantastic. Power trunk release works. Trunk's all original speckle. This, this is car, under, what, 40,000 miles or something like that? Yeah, 39,000 miles. Go watch their YouTube full walk around on that, and you'll be very, very impressed. Well, Fairlane GT, uh, we also have the, the two-tone silver GTO. Silver and blue is going to Mexico. Yep, it is. Old last week. Toyota pickup, probably will go in my garage still if no one wants it more than me, but I love this thing. That's a fun little, you know, five-speed round with rounder. It when I was a kid, same truck. Right. Last step would be, let's go to the back shop and see what the guys are working on. As we're out here in the crap, I'll just make a note. We have literally call the salesman and tell them what you're looking for because we literally have over 20 cars, Camaros, Chevelles, Mustangs, GTXs, Mach 1s, trucks. Mm -hmm. We got all these cars waiting to get on the website, waiting to get detailed, waiting to get checked in and, and fixed up. All right, this is a project that uh, you're gonna be able to see the full progress of on YouTube once Mark gets done. Uh, but this Mustang is one I bought in Kansas City uh, two or three months ago. But the block had bad compression, so we ordered a new $6,000 block, and Mark's doing the job on that, gonna be putting that in today. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. This Nova is a good example of why when Chad and I test drive these, we test drive them hard. Because that way if there's some issue, then it breaks on us and then we can fix it. So exactly. Brant's, Brant's uh, doing a little work on that, getting it ready. This car is so fun. That is an awesome car. So we'll get that ready back and get her in the showroom. This I'm excited about seeing this 1969 Mustang. So this has got upgraded four wheel disc brakes, upgraded rear and front suspension out of a newer Mustang. Yeah, correct? the front suspension and rear suspension is all like what it would have been in a 1994 SVT Cobra. Same and thing a five with the motor. speed manual. And this is a brand new crate motor. Now I talked to Rod this morning. A car buyer, and he said, as soon as you get this black tuxedo black 1970 Chevelle up there, you're going to get more activity on this one on the website than any of them. This, if I could, I, for, I almost forgot about this car. If I can change my favorites, <laughs> <laughs> this is like um, I know you guys watched and have seen the Dazed and Confused movie. This oh, is God. like what Matthew McConaughey was driving in that movie. Tuxedo black, white interior. Look at that. I mean, we haven't cleaned it yet. He's just starting on the outside. Gorgeous, gorgeous SS, and this thing's got a 502, 502 horse, crate motor, big block. Working, rear air, look working at that over there. Yeah, Super working cowl induction system. hood, power steering, power brakes. This thing is, is badass. It had some Mickey Thompsons in the back that were not raised white letters, but Chad ordered a brand new set. Mm -hmm. Chad ordered a new set of Mickey Thompsons. For some reason, the previous owner was pretty sure it was an original 454 car, too. Right, it's got the factory 6,000 uh, RPM tachometer in it. Um, also has all the correct sway bars. It's got all the correct uh, steering knuckle for SS, everything like that. We can't prove it, 
you know, because we don't have the build sheet, but it's got all the SS yeah. stuff that it needs to in have. In 69, Chevy stopped putting 138 in the VIN. We posted a 69 Chevelle, and well, why don't you check the VIN and see if it's a real super sport? You can't do that. Yeah. 68 60, was the last year. Si correct. So 69, 70, 71, the only way to check is if you have a build sheet or original paperwork, or if it's got a lot of the original components like this one does. And then 1972, they put the engine code back mm -hmm. in the VIN number. You still couldn't see if it was an SS or not, because SS was just an option Correct. as far as a, it was an a trim package. option. Yeah. But if you had a W or you had a U or a big block 454 mm -hmm. or 402 in the VIN, mm -hmm. chances are you had an SS car. There's a little facts for you watching on YouTube. A little tidbit. A little tidbit. Hey, let's talk to over here to Timmy once. Um, this is an original paint 1980 California car. Look at this here. So this is 100% original paint under that spoiler too, wasn't it, Tim? So he's buffing it out, doing a little bit of wet sanding around the edges, trying to get that uh, original paint looking as, as perfect as he can. And I like the two-tone vinyl and cloth, mm -hmm. kind of that gray and white interior, yep. numbers matching. Now, another tidbit fact, the Z28 California, right? Mm -hmm. This is California car, California emissions, all that stuff. So the Z28 car, cars in 1980 came with 305s, a California car. In California. If they weren't in California, they would have come with a 350. Mm -hmm. So this is a 305 four barrel California car. Z28. Z28, done in its original paint, original interior, black, awesome color combination. The air conditioning blows cold. Um, super excited about getting this one done. But just like all the other cars, we bring them in, we check them over. Uh, we take the spoilers off. We're gonna take that hood scoop all off and, and buff, buff around them. that. So we do a lot of stuff to these to, to get them ready for your garage, to try to make them as good as we can, but at the end of the day, they're still an old car and nothing's perfect. Exactly. At the end of the day, there's still 50 year old parts in some of the car. Yeah, that's what you know. people gotta keep in mind is no matter how much work has been done to a car, at the end of the day, they're still older than, than Chad and I both. Yeah, and, and uh, if the parts are newer, they're aftermarket parts too, you know what I mean? Yep. So who the hell knows? Correct. Okay, there's one last car I'm gonna check out on our pit stop. We'll make it quick, because it's cold out here. Yeah, that's cool, huh? Yeah. Looks like it's got a power antenna. It does. Nice. I put it up against that. No way! Yeah, I'm serious. Fast. Fourth gear that bunker still grabbed tires. He said it's the fastest car we got. He thinks Good it's job. as fast as my Corvette. You're kidding. Ah, uh, he's on... Something. We'll have to try it. I'd like to run them. <laughs> That's awesome. I talked to a guy last night calling something else, um, and I told him we had this coming in, and he's pretty interested. That's a nice car. Good. Thanks, buddy. Which one are you getting in next? That's good, D. I think you can get out. Factory tack, dash. Horn works. This thing's pretty special. Dustin went and picked it up Monday, came in on trade. Came all the way from Indiana, right? Mm -hmm. Indiana, home of the Indianapolis Colts. Your favorite football team. You got a lot of favorites, D. I do, a lot of favorites. This might be, I'm gonna have to move all my favorites around after today. But this is very nice, big block, four speed. As soon as you get in the interior, you even shift it, still has the correct slides and everything. That fucker's a go-getter son of a bitch. <laughs> Exciting, huh? But, like it runs true down the road, like it pulls a little bit to the left, like if you really hammer on the brakes, but like I checked all the brakes and it's got brand new brakes in the front. Rears are like 90%. All right, all right. I think that's gonna do it for uh, today's Cars and Coffee. Thanks for watching along. Hopefully soon the weather will be, will be better and we can get all the cars out front and show you some of the new inventory that's coming in. But thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what your favorite car is. You heard my three or four or five favorites. I wanna hear what your one favorite is. So uh, let us know in the comments. What do you have to say, Dad? Man, just, just like I said earlier, make sure that you talk to your salesman on exactly what you're looking for. Like I said, I had someone call last night. We got 22 cars sitting out there and all of them are, but two of them are muscle cars. The other two mm -hmm. are really cool trucks. Yep, they're all just waiting to run through the shop and do our check-in and go to the website. But yeah, give us a call. We might have what you're looking for. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.